Hi, I'm Dave Bergman, Vice President of International Relations, and this is this week's IPC Technical Question of the Week. There are continuing questions on adhesion testing, so I thought I'd do a little bit of history on that. And, uh, you know, the, the um, adhesion testing that we've used for this industry has really come from the paint industry, where they've looked to test how, how strong paint is that adheres to a wall. And essentially the basis on that is you'd have your paint up here, and you'd have an X-Acto knife, and you take your X-Acto knife and you'd cut a crosshatch pattern, like a tic-tac-toe, and so you'd take your X-Acto knife and you'd slice along here, and you slice along here. And then once you had your cross section there, you would take a piece of tape and you'd tape it on there and then you'd pull it off and see if any paint had come. And that really is what the basis is of many of the coatings and, it, and, um, and uh, surface finishes that we have really comes from that. Well, you can imagine the variability that takes place. If I got somebody who's a bodybuilder and is working out all the time and he comes in here and he slices through that, you're going to maybe have a different uh, uh, you know, a different uh, adhesion of value or results if you have a 90-pound weakling who is just softly cutting across. And so there's big concerns on that. And so the industry created a special X-Acto knife with six blades and told you how hard to push, and that was an issue. And the second thing you need to look at is what tape do you use? Well, you know it. Duct tape adhes it adheres to everything. And so they don't really want to use duct tape because they figure that will give false positives. And so, you know, each, each uh, tape actually has a very specific adhesive. So I've got double-sided tape, I've got the magic tape, which most people use in their offices. And so the industry decided to call out some specifications so we'd all use the same tape. And so the spec that was originally called out was LT90, which was a federal spec that gave the, the, um, the specific values that people wanted to use. Well, the military got out of the spec business, and so they then pushed over to uh, AA113, which was a, uh, a commercial spec, and then eventually companies stopped certifying to that. And so uh, people are coming and saying, IPC, what test, did we, what tape we should use? And so we finally got to the point that says, well, we're going to list the, the appropriate uh, values from the, uh, it's now called CID, or commercial item description, CID. AA113, but again, it's tough to find people that are actually going to do the certification to that. In the end, we also spec in our um, uh, standards to use uh, AA113 or the equivalent 3M brand, 600. 600 comes in a box like this. It's just a red box with a 600 number as opposed to a green box with the 810 on this, which is the common office tape. The uh, IPC committees went a little bit further, specifically in the area of the solder mask testing, to include a, 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 uh, a standardized pattern to remove the, uh, the bodybuilder 90-pound winkling controversy. They uh, created a crosshatch pattern where this is actually built into the coupon. And so this is the checkerboard pattern where the black squares uh, would be copper and the white squares would be laminate material. And you'd put your solder mask over that and you didn't have to go through and cut it. You would have a complete coverage, and you could lay your strip of tape over here and pull it off, 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 off uh, from that. Uh, what document is this? Uh, this is in uh, SM840 in the solder mask specification. Uh, the test method for our adhesion testing is in the uh, mechanical testing of the 650 2.4.1. And uh, again, the, the tape we're using is a clear uh, 3M brand is what we're recommending or equivalent per the A113. So that's the history of adhesion testing. And uh, if you'd like to uh, have your technical question answered by staff, please send your question to answers at ipc.org.